What is going on everyone? Got a video here to share with all of you on how to format an unallocated USB flash drive showing unknown capacity in Windows 10 when you try and format it. Let me go ahead and plug in my USB flash drive and show you what I'm talking about. So as I'm plugging in my USB flash drive, you can see it pops up there and says, please insert a disk into USB drive. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out of that. Nothing I can do with that. So over here is my USB drive that should be working, but it's not. So I double click it and it comes up with this message. Now, before we go any further, I just wanna mention, cause this is very important, that if any of you have data on your thumb drive, like pictures, music, or videos, and so forth that you're you know trying to get your drive to work again and for whatever reason this happened to you do not continue to watch this particular video because I'm going to format this and that stuff will be unrecoverable so if you're looking to recover your data and get it back and showing up that's going to be for a different video but for this video I'm going to keep moving forward we're going to do a clean format and get this to show back up so I'm going to go ahead and click cancel I go over here right click on it come down to format and you'll notice where on my format box here it says at the top capacity unknown capacity so when i go ahead down here and hit start it's looking like it's going to format and then i click ok and it says windows was unable to complete the format so i'm going to go ahead and click ok what we need to do is go in and create a new simple volume on the thumb drive you can do this by going to this pc or if yours says my computer up on there if you have that little icon you can go to where it says manage and that'll get you in here to computer management or you can simply go down to your search you can right click down here in the little window go to search and you can type in computer management and you'll see it right here and you can select it and that also opens up the same exact computer management window so once you do get to computer management you want to come down on the left pane here look for something that says disk management and that should load all your disks in here you do want to be a uh, careful towards the top here because that's all your main drives and stuff you don't want to delete nothing there you should find something in here that looks like this that says unallocated and this little part here that says remove should match over here so you know that you are using you know or you're going to be selecting the correct drive in the computer management over here so what you need to do at this point is basically when you select this down here you just left click it to select it then you can right click over top of it and you can choose new volume then you simply go through here click next leave this stuff set to default because that's normally what you would do and let it assign a normal drive letter to your thumb drive and you can actually change it in here you can type in you know if you're using your thumb drive as a backup drive or for whatever you want to do you can type that in there or leave it new volume just leave perform a quick format check marked and ntfs is fine or whatever you want to choose there but ntfs is pretty much the default go ahead and click next and it'll give you basically a rundown here of the settings that you're choosing and you just click finish and now you'll notice over here a new box popped up that says new volume h up here and it's empty so now you can see it right here shows the gigs and it says new volume if we double click on it it's empty it's all back to normal and if you right click on it and you go to format you're able to see the capacity now and if we click start we can do the format from here just like that now. So that should be helpful to some of you. And down here, you'll notice it did change to volume H, which is just fine, but you'll see it's a healthy primary uh, partition on that thumb drive, which is a 64 gig thumb drive. So then you can close out of computer management and you should have your drive back up and showing. Again, there's multiple issues that you can have with thumb drives. And this is just one particular issue. And I will be doing more videos on issues like this for thumb drives and pen drives and flash drives all the same thing so anyway thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if it helped you out hit the like button and i will see you all in the next video